morning subscribers in this video we will tell you how to make remote control car the materials required to make remote control cars are a transformer a socket a pair of switch wires a car for the wheels and a soldering machine We will also be needing uh, screwdrivers, some diodes, some soldering wire, four, four motors and a motherboard for assembling this. So now let's get started and uh, for this we will be requiring the diodes, four diodes we will be requiring. Now let me tell you how the diodes work and how do they look. The diodes contain two parts, one is the black and one is the silver part. So now we will be taking two diodes together and we will keep the silver and the other silver part together like this. So now let's uh, join them, the silver part together. I will keep them aside and I will pick up other two diodes. So in this one we will keep the black and black side together like this black and black together and the silver ones are down and we will join the black part now I have got pair of diodes joined so now I will connect them together in this part the silver and the black would be together and down also the silver and the black will be together like silver black silver black So we have got a rhombus kind of thing and we will be putting it aside. Now uh, we will be using a transformer. This transformer uh, has two sides. This side uh, is the input one and the input will be needing of 220 volts which will be connected to the plug. And the other side uh, which is of output has three wires. The blue wires on the uh, either side of the uh, either side of this side are of 12 volts and this middle one red one is of 0 volts and it's the earth wire this transformer is of 2 amperes and now I will be connecting the input side with the plug so uh, with the socket so we are having the socket and now I'm connecting these two wires with the, the input side Now I have connected the socket with the input side and now I am going to connect the output side with the diodes. So you have to look this part very carefully. The, there are four sides, one with the black black, one with the silver silver and one with the black silver and another with uh, also the black and silver. So we will be taking the output wires, blue ones and then we will be connecting it to the black and, white, uh, black and silver and black and silver side. So I am connecting one of the blue wires with the black and silver side and another blue wire with another black and silver side. So after this I will show it to you with a close up also. Like this is the black side, this is the silver side and the blue wire. This is the black side, this is the silver side with the blue. Now we will be moving on. We will be requiring 8 wires and 4 motors. Chira, can you please pass me a motor? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Well, each motor requires 2 wires. You can see this carbon brushes. We will be connecting these wires into the carbon brushes. Well, we have to just simply connect it and just close the carbon brush. We will be doing same with the other end. Oh, sorry. Just a second, I will help you. Just a second. It should be very thin. The wire should be very thin. Thank you, Shiran. Actually, there is a 
problem sorry then now it's done and we will be closing the carbon it will be looking somewhat like this and you have to do same with the other motors too So now we have connected one of this motor with the green and the red wire, the another with uh, black and a brown wire, the third one with blue and the purple wire, and the fourth one with an orange and a yellow wire. Now as uh, we have this green wire, and we have to take the uh, end of this green wire. The other end. The other end. And in this motor? And there were four motors. So one of the motor was uh, with green and orange. So green and red. And we have taken any one of the wire which is the green one. And the other wire, other motor was with the purple and the blue. So maybe we could take the blue one. And the third motor was with the black and the orange. So we are taking the black one and the fourth one was with orange and yellow so here we are taking the yellow wire we have to join all the four wires and after joining it we have to take the earth which was at the output of the transformer well this is the earth wire and we have to join this way. Can you give me the tape? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Shira. And we have to join on this whole wire. Now let's move further. This is our main base which would be having all the setups we have connected. This is the kind of main base which we are, we are needing for making our car. There are four motors which Siddharth has connected. We would be taking two of them on the one side like this, this and another two of them on the other side. This, this is the same arrangement as the car has in the wheel two of the two front and two back now here comes here Siddharth told you about the earth wire now here is the other end we are left with now we these are of brown color red color orange and the purple one from this side from the right hand side we would be taking the brown one we would be taking the brown one and the orange one here now we would be connecting them together like this this like this now the next pair of purple and red we would be also connecting them and now we are we are having two pairs now we are having two pairs uh, now we have one pair of uh, one uh, opposite way switch now this switch has three sort parts left, right and middle one. Uh, we would be opening the middle part. Very carefully. This is the way. Now we would be taking one of the pair and we would be fixing it here in the switch of the middle part one. Oops. Yeah. I will help you. Yeah. Tighten the screw. Yeah. Now we have to tighten the screw. Tie the screw so that it doesn't come out. Now uh, this is the way it is done. Okay. Now here comes the second one and the second pair we have made. We have got done our work. Now we are having this, these four wires. Okay. 
now we would be taking two of them uh, they are of orange brown red and black color now let us connect them we would be taking two of them uh, these are of brown and black they are one pair and the red and orange are the other pair we would be taking one of the switch connecting the orange and the red one uh, on the either side on the either side uh, like this yeah jira can you help me please <laughs> Can you open it? Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. here no. it goes. Now we need to tighten the screw as we have done before. Now here it is done. Now here comes the second. Now here comes the second orange one. Mm, you need to first open. Now, now this way it will go inside, and you would be needing to connect it. Can you open it once it has gone? See, uh, this is the problem which we face. It shouldn't come out of the part. It should go inside. Otherwise, the otherwise the current will not flow. So it need to go inside. Yeah. Now this way. And here the job is done. The same process we need to follow with the other one. Here we go with the other pair. This is black and brown. Here we finish the work. And now, now the other end, which we were having of these were of the same color: orange, red, brown, and black. Here comes the diode. Now we'll be pairing the. Maybe there were there was two switches, so we'll be taking the red one from here and the black one from here, and we'll be twisting them together. Yes. This way, and then we'll be taking then the we orange take one and the brown one. The no. leftover pair would be then together. Here, like this. Now, in the diode, we would be taking the silver, silver, and the black part. In each of the part, you will connect one of the pair. Like, like, silver, I am, silver. like the silver, like in the black part, I am connecting the pair of orange and brown. This way, and the other pair of black and red to the other side. Just a second, just a second. No, 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 just you know, this blue wire needs to be correct. No. 
the silver we are connecting one of the pair of the switches with the, the silver, silver and silver these connections are now a little like they come out very easily afterwards we will be soldering them this so, way and the other pairs there is the orange and the other was orange and black i guess no black orange and brown brown there is the brown one here this need to be done very carefully now the this pair will we would be connecting with black black wire this is the way it is done now mm -hmm. here we have got our connection now uh, it's a time that our base is ready now chirag will told tell you what are the problems that we face while making all these and the arrangement that we need to make make our car really run on the now moving on to the last part of making our car this would be attaching the motors to our base which we have told you and then we will be attaching the wheels also also i will be explaining you some of the major problems which arise when we are making this project so now first what we will be doing is as we have told you one of them uh, two of the motors will be on one side and other two motors will be on the uh, another side so we will be using the tape for attaching these motors also what we have done is we have wherever we have done the a uh, part of twisting the wires together we have soldered them like if you see it uh, we have soldered here so that the wire does not come out easily now attaching the motors to the base the motor we have done and now we'll be doing the same to the others and now we have used a simple toy car for the wheels it's a simple toy car now we will be taking out the we will be um taking out the wheels from this car So, we are done with our robot if car and I will tell you some of the problems which would arise if you make this uh, robot. See, um if you uh we will turn on the the car a little 
after so i will be telling you first i will tell you the problem sometimes what happens is when you switch it on um the wheels uh, one of the wheels move like this and one of the wheels move in the opposite direction so to make it right what you need to do is just take off this uh, suppose this one is moving in the wrong way so take out this yellow wire take out this orange wire put this orange wire in the place of yellow wire and the yellow wire in the place of orange wire and you can do it in the same way and We have completed uh, with our wiring part. Now we will test our remote control card. Now, let me tell you how does the switch is work. To keep the car going in a forward direction, you need to ensure that both switches are turned on the same direction. And to keep the robot moving on the backward direction, you need to turn off the switches in the same direction. And to turn the robot to the left side, you need to switch on the left uh, switch and turn off the right switch. And similarly for the right, if you want to turn your car to the right side, you need to turn off your left switch and turn on your right switch. Thank you and have a nice day. If you have got any problem, you can leave a comment below. And we are always watching the comments, so your queries will be answered very fast.